check that body. Get, get, get down. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to look at something a little bit different. We're going to look at programming the Nectar Panorama P1. Uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial of showing you how to input uh, MIDI information so you can control external devices. So first of all, I've got a MIDI track here and basically I've connected it to the Waldorf Rocket. So what I've done I've also downloaded the manual and you can see here we've got the MIDI controller numbers. So for instance, you've got MIDI number 74 controlling filter cutoff and 71 controlling resonance. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a few of these in uh, to Nectar and just show you how easy it is to program. So let's just leave that screen open a minute. So there's the rocket. So what we're going to do I'm going to press the internal button and I'm going to go to setup and I'm going to load and I'm going to use this preset oddity um, so it's not something I have so we can rename it rocket and so on later on but let's just load that for now so now that's loaded what we can do straight away is just get into it and we're going to press control edit okay and now this is on you can see the, the screen changes and we've got message type to off so what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to decide what we want to control. So let's control number one and this one here, modulation wheel. So I'm going to move a fader now on the Panorama P1. And there you go, that's now moving. And we've got a message type set to off. What we need to do now is flick through this and we need to find MIDI CC. We'll leave channel as global and I'm going to move down to MIDI controller number one. And as you can see, the value and range of a modulation wheel is zero to 127. So, and as you can see, we've got a minimum of zero, maximum of 127. And that's that done. Now we'll move on. We'll do these next um, three controllers here and we'll put these on um, faders. So, Anything with 0 to 127, we can use a continuous controller, we can use a knob or a fader. So for these, for number 70, I'm going to move my next fader. And you can see there it's already assigned to MIDI number 3. What we're going to do is change that round to number 70. And that now corresponds, there we go, that now corresponds to oscillator wave. Again, minimum, maximum 0 127, the same as it is in our manual. And let's move the next fader and let's change that all the way around to controller number 79. And now controller number 31, we've got uh, oscillator shape. And you can see here we've got zero and one. So there's only two pulses, if you like. So we can just use a button for that on and off like a light switch. So zero is saw and number one is pulse. So I'm going to press a button on my Nectar P1. And you can see there it's just highlighted and uh, we've got MIDI CC toggle which is what it is and let's go down to change these values so same as the manual we've got a value range of 0 and 1 so I've set pulse 1 to 1 and pulse 2 to 0 and I need to go back up and change the MIDI number to 31 to match the manual so that's that one done. And let's do filter cutoff and resonance now on a couple of encoders. So I'm going to move the first encoder and you can see that it's now highlighted. And that's already set to MIDI controller number 74, fortunately, and minimum maximum of 0, 127, the same as our manual. And let's go to the next one. And fortunately, again, that's actually set to 71, which is resonance. So let's just save those now and have a look. So I'm going to press setup. I'm going to go to save press enter i'm going to save over oddity and we're just going to press yes so now that's ready to go so if i just press the keyboard you can hear the rocket i'm going to move the controller for our filter cutoff let me turn the resonance down So 
so you can hear that's working modulation wheel we put on let me just you can hear the modulation wheel now on fader one I'm sorry you can't see my faders, but I have only got a little um, camcorder that's recording the screen, which is more, more important. Um, I'm going to move the next fader, which is Oscillator Wave. And the next one is Oscillator Tune. And we've got the button, which is Oscillator Shape. So you can hear the button there changing the shape. So there you go, really. I mean, programming the P1, the P4 or the P6 is super simple if you're wanting to control hardware. Of course, it's the same with software as well. It's just so user friendly and you can control all sorts of different parameters. So let me just go to the next three faders and I will just quickly do the envelope decay, sustain and release. So again, let's press um, control edit, move a fader and it's already set to MIDI CC. Uh, MIDI CC number we need to set to number 75. Again, 0 to 127. Um, we've got envelope sustain on... MIDI controller number 103 and again we've just got a state of on and off like a switch so let's use a button for that so I'll press a button and there you go and it's MIDI CC 103 let's just turn that to 103 and press 1 will set to 1 and press 2 will set to 0 and the next one is envelope release and again, that's just on and off. So we'll use a button for that. And let's just go to MIDI controller number 72. 72. And again, we'll match the manual. So we'll just use 0 and 1 for a toggle. And I'm going to go now to setup, save, save, yes, please. So envelope sustain, on and off, envelope release on and off, So there you go, a lot of fun. Uh, now, the beauty of this, obviously we could rename it Rocket. Uh, I'll maybe do another little tutorial on, on showing you how to save presets and so on. But there you go, you can see, super simple. You know, you grab your manual of any device that you've got, make sure it's connected via MIDI. You've now got full control of it from your Nectar Panorama P1 and you can save up to 20 of these. I've got a few different devices. Fortunately, there's a load already built in, like the Virus TI and Blofeld and, you know, loads of others. So, super simple. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget, if you have any questions, I am going to do more tutorials on the Panorama P1, uh, but this was just a quick overview of how to control an external synth. Until next time, bye-bye. Check that body. Get, get, get down.